Hey people, Zarth, one beer, and welcome to episode 39 of Ace Attorney Investigation 2. Last time we started Forgotten Turnabout, K Guy Amnesia, and we're now investigating the PIC headquarters. Anyways, let's go. No, no, no. I don't want to talk to you, Gummy. I don't want to talk to you. Let's just show the badge, though. Let's show some things, though. If you're not going to be a Brosky anymore, then what am I supposed to do? Who am I supposed to worship? Now isn't the time to think of such things, Detective. But it's not fair that the PIC keeps on how you like this, Mr. Edgeworth. You haven't even done anything wrong. If anything, you just rub people the wrong way. You should watch what you say as well so you don't rub people the wrong way and get your paycheck cut the wrong way. It's Kay's treasure. She always wears it on her clothes. Even after seeing her own badge, she still didn't remember anything. It's just strange seeing Kay acting so unlike herself. I'm not even sure how I should act towards her anymore. You should just be yourself, Detective, for her sake. You're right, Zoe. All right. Well, then, time to not make some careless mistakes. He's actually aware that he makes careless mistakes. It's like that one. Ep it's like that one episode of Spider with the car, where Patrick's like, "You can't accept my usual brand of stupidity. Gotta shake things up." Haha, <laughs> Mr. Android, you're such a joker! Even if you show me that, I don't know you wait, so you are playing that quite proudly. Okay, see yeah, sorry. Anyways, let's talk to you. You there! Tell me the situation at the security of this room. Yes, sir! To enter this room, a special key card is required! I see. In other words, not just anyone can enter this room. So, the person who found the wall, he was also... Yes, it was a member of the PIC who had come here for Trinae's hearing. A member of the PIC? If not for this case, right now I would be... Excuse me! That's right, Franzi's here. Franzi just comes in. You are? Oh, yes. What is it? That voice. It's Von Karma, right? That voice, it's Von Karma, right? Um, do you know her, Granny? Good to see you again, Doctor! Yeah, I have the feeling like she was Francisca's pediatrician as her in her youth, because basically just... <laughs> Maverick, I WANT SOMEONE IN THE PROFESSION! I got If the combat is good enough with my bodies, then he's good- Then she's good enough to investigate my- To check out my daughter! <laughs> Though, frankly, no, Maverick, there would be no flaws in those physicals. Anyways, man, your Mr. Bonkama, your daughter, she had a, she has a slight vitamin C deficiency. Not that she has no deficiency. Perfect. This <laughs> man, for she would be and you as well, Miles. What? What is she doing here? How dare you come here, Francesca? Francesca Von Karma. She is a prosecutor working with Interval and the daughter of Manfred Von Karma. She should be jetting around the world right now, but somehow she's here. She senses my pain and misery, so she came to seek it out. Where, wherever there is a case, I will follow. National Wars mean nothing before me. I do what I want. Your, your presence here must mean that this case has an international significance. You know well enough that I'm chasing a smuggling ring. I shall recover all the stolen goods and crush that organization. Then, does that mean the smuggling ring is also involved in this particular case? Any further information is co confidential. I am not obligated to speak of it with you. So it won't be that easy. Um, Miss Francisca, Von Karma, Granny says... The, the autopsy board is, is complete. You're free to do what you want. In that case, we would like to investigate as well. I've heard rumors about you! No way I'm like you near that body! You and your updating of autopsy reports, you make me sick! You're that prosecutor who's about to get the boot! You best run home now, Sonny! And, um, just so you know, I was the one who said that, okay? Please, Granny. We need to investigate, no matter what. Hey, Lassie, who are you calling Granny? Eek! Uh, I'm sorry. We're not getting anywhere. I guess I have no other choice. Damn it, I'm gonna have to work for Francesca again. Francesca, please allow us to aid you in your investigation. No, oh, damn it, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. We must examine that body in order to find out what happened to Kay. To Kay Faraday? I must get do, Zoe. Kay's in really bad shape. I don't know what's going on, but fine, I'll grant you permission. You have my thanks. Of course, I didn't say it would become without a price. You will explain everything to me later. 
We really owe you one, Zoe! I wasn't talking to you, Scruffy! No! So that's how it is, if you would be so kind as to authorize them too, Doctor. I suppose it's fine if he's with a prosecutor from Interpool. Is what she says, and I fully agree with Granny. By the by the Von Karma name, the entire world will be judged. That's with that's just common knowledge. That's rather conceited for common knowledge. Well, it's none of my beeswax anymore. Is what she's is what she says. I hope you don't get in trouble for this. You needn't worry. My reputation will not be shaken by something so petty. Unlike me, who's on the verge of losing his badge. This is my life now. I'm going to work with Francisco. Yes, what is it? Francisca, I would like you to take a look at this. I'll ask, just in case. What is that? <laughs> Francisca doesn't even know what the prosecutor's badge is. She's went so long of keeping it in her pocket that she doesn't know what it is anymore. It's my prosecutor's badge. And? Mm, that's all. Ow! You should be you should be relieved. You felt pain, right? Hmm? What do you mean by that? Fools cannot fools can't catch colds, so I thought they wouldn't be able to feel pain either. Phoenix caught a cold, so your point is moot, Francisca. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth, unlike you, I am actually busy. I don't have the time to look at something like that. Why don't you just look at that evidence again by yourself? She is certainly as harsh as ever. Thank you, Francisca. Yeah. Francisca has their taste. Kate barely lost her memories. How dare you let that happen to her on your watch? Hmm? Huh? I have no defense. Uh, it's not Mr. Edgeworth's fault. You! Are you alright? Being bandaged up like that. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for worrying about me. Her behavior is certainly strange. It's unusual to hear her give thanks like that. I don't like it, Miles Edgeworth! Miles Edgeworth, hurry up and get her memories back! It makes me feel unsettled! Why don't you just admit that you're worried about her? Yeah. I like doing these things. Notice anything? A murder case at the PSE meeting room. Since you asked to cooperate in the investigation, I do hope you will be able to produce results. Naturally, why do you think I'm here? Well, now that you mention it, why are you here exactly? That's right, she still doesn't know about my PIC hearing today. The circus has my idea deeper than the sea, Zoe. Allow me to explain how Mr. Andrew... Yep. Ouch! Stop... Stop the one just saying lunch, he's burping like crazy. Miles Edgeworth, I do not care about your circumstances. All that matters now is reaching the truth of this case. Am I wrong? Indeed, there's some truth to what you say. If you ask me, I don't think that is totally right. Yo! I'll say this. Whipping someone is easier than being worried. But being on the receiving end of the whip isn't easy at all! Ouch! Francisca, why are you here when you are supposed to be working with Interpol? Curious, are you? But it's confidential. I have no obligation to tell you. Hmm. Her response was as ex expected. Uh, damn it, it's on top of you like some Mugi. More, more, more importantly, there shouldn't there be a prosecutor in charge of this murder case? I don't know who it is, but I was hoping it would be someone completely useless. <laughs> and then it's about Edward Francisca. You don't know what is going to happen. You don't know what you're up against! They're not even here yet! They're late! Just what is that fool doing? <laughs> Meanwhile with Sebastian- Justine, help! The toilet seat- the toilet seat is won't flush! The toilet won't flush, Justine! Sebastian, what are you doing? Why is it filled with toilet paper? I was trying to clean the toilet, Justine! Help! <laughs> I got my arm stuck in the lit toilet lid thing, Justine! Help! <laughs> Yuck! I have nothing to do with the toy! I wouldn't think it's very commendable to just whip people at random. I swing, therefore I whip. That is my philosophy. I have a sister on pillow in my apartment, Miles Edgeworth. I whip anyone who slacks off in their work. To the yet unseen prosecutor in charge, I hereby offer you my 
Hereby I offer you my sympathies in advance. And then I receive the version. Never mind! Judging from your exchanges now, I take it you've met Dr. Young before. How is Stuart Miles Edgeworth? That's right, she's an acquaintance of mine. Back then, it's a long story. It seems she doesn't intend to tell me anymore. Shall I leave at that then? So, what happened then? Please tell me your best, oi! No! A foolish fool is shamelessly prying into other people's business like a fool. Would watch what you say, Scruffy. How cruel! Whipping me out of the blue! With a great whip comes great responsibility, soy! One good whip deserves another! The Scruffy fool gets hit the whip! Try harder, worthless whipping! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> hmm, it appears I was right to leave it at that. Poor gumshoe. Okay, let's just check things out. This body! It's not case, no, it doesn't even look like it at all! It's like, it, it looks more like Lana Sky for some odd reason! Of course it is, in case alive after all. Her age is, I guess, around 30, and she's wearing a pantsuit. Maybe she worked in one of the offices in this building. So, her identity is still unknown. The question now becomes, why did the police believe her name was Kay? I won't rest until I inspect every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Could this be the murder weapon, Zoe? A three-pronged candelabra. It's consistent with the number of stab wounds. She's she was probably stabbed by the prongs of this candelabra. A candy zebra? I'm afraid it's not quite what you were imagining, Detective. A candelabra is a candlestick holder with multiple arms. Ah, so it's a candle holder. You know, one time I forgot to bring my electric bill, and I had to get it by with only candles. What time period are you from? The time period where you keep cutting my pain, Mr. Edgeworth! But I can't afford anything nice like this! This notebook! Huh? Isn't that Kay's promise notebook? This is the notebook she wrote all her promises to her father, and it really takes me back, soy! Yes. I remember getting kicked in the shin. When Kay was young, she and her father wrote the promises they made in this notebook. However, why is it in a place like this? Ah! Now that you mention it, I once heard something from Detective Bell a long time ago. I'd seen that before morning when I noticed Kay's memento had gone missing. What? So a piece of evidence that was in police custody went missing? Detective Bell frantically searched all over it, but it seems he never found it. What could this mean? Why was the, the missing notebook found here? You there! Do you happen to know anything about this notebook? The victim was carrying this notebook when we found her! That was the only evidence we had to identify the body! So that's why you called her Kay! What a misleading victim, huh? Why did she have Kay's notebook? I sure would like to have some information on the victim's identity, though. There's a burn mark on her hand. Is it connected to the cause of death? No, it appears to be an old scar. She probably got it a long time ago. Hmm, it seems there's something in our hand, Detective. Could you open it for me? Yes, sir, I understood! This is... Oh, I know! This must be a gift card from a department store! Ah! It seems like a key card! Why well, could it be a gift card? I want to use it! Uh, wh why? The question is, what was the key card for? Boom. Perhaps the key card the victim was holding is for this room. I'll go find out, Zoe! Miss Edgeworth! From the room security system, we learned to retrieve the data of the victim's card. So that means the victim was able to freely enter this room. If the card actually belonged to the victim, of course. Yes, of course. Even though we haven't investigated the rest of the body yet. There doesn't seem to be anything in this pocket. The box, the box is old and tight! Judging by how the cloth was pierced, she must have been stabbed by some sharp object. All your coins have all had those holes, Zoe! Detective, haven't you ever heard of a wallet? Of course I have, Zoe! I just use my pockets, though. Most people do, right? Never mind. The last I have her white jacket has been stained a deep red. This, this jacket. The buttons are all are on the right side. Isn't that normal? All oh, my clothes have the buttons on the right side. For women, it is normal to have them on the left side. 
Mr. Android, you really do know everything. That's just common knowledge. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything out of place. Hmm. There's something white in her pockets. They're glo They're gloves, pure white ones. One for each hand, sorry. They don't seem to be dirty. Could they be the victims? The last time her white jacket has been stained a deep red. I'm just trying to say her hand. Come on. Something seems to be pinned to her jacket. Hmm. It's made of a purple cloth. It looks like it's been forcefully torn off. Doesn't it? Okay. A purple flower Kay had with her. I wonder if, the, if that originally belonged to the victim. Now that you mention it, the cloth does look the same as the one on the pin. Yes, let's compare them without delay. It's a perfect mad sorry! Way to go, Mr. Edgeworth! The fact that this flower belonged to the victim means... That can only mean that Kay Faraday came into contact with the victim! And about the corsage, it looks like it was forcibly ripped off. There's a possibility that Kay Faraday is connected in this case, and depending on the situation... We may have to consider her as a, as a, as a suspect. And Diamond Star Swamp, why are you stuttering like a fool? What'd you say? There's no way she did it! How do I know you didn't do it, sorry? What is that supposed to mean, Squirrely? Oh, I'm just saying, your dad killing people on elevators and trying to cut my pay and trying to get Miss Edgeworth arrested. How do we know it doesn't run the family? And then Gumshoe just finds himself flying out of the 50th story window. I regret nothing! However, it's true that we have evidence to deny that claim. We have no evidence to deny that claim, Matt. It's nothing more than a possibility at this moment. Isn't that right, my Edgeworth? Indeed, for better or for worse. Okay, we still got more to investigate. All right, yes, the head. There's some blood on her head. Maybe she was hit with something! We don't know that for sure. Our investigation will ultimately clear that up. Sir, the victim's identity remains unknown. Um, should you really still be calling me Kay? Of course! What are you saying, pal? Th thank you, but th what about that woman? She is someone who you, have, who you may have killed. That is all we know. Good going, Francisco! Way to have all the subtlety of a bulldozer riding over bubble wrap as per normal. There's no way that's true, right, Miss Edgeworth? I also do not believe you killed her. You are such a naive man, Miles Edgeworth. Here I come to save the day! Mm, that was dear God! If Francisco's here, we're all gonna die! So don't be afraid! Anymore for the best prosecutor is here today. Pardon the interruption. I I deeply want to apologize for that, Mr. Edgeworth. He he just kept going on in the car over and over again. He wouldn't stop. He even started singing that up the stairway to here. Ugh, it was horrible. Mr. Edgeworth, get away from the victim! I've inherited her dying wish. No one asks for you. No one asked for you either, Sebastian! Hmm. Did you know the victim? Just as I thought. The goss of law will surely repeal, reveal the truth to us, so please, rest in peace. That's right, Jesse! Now that I'm here, everything will be A-OK! -okay. <laughs> I've been told that I obfuscate the truth like no other! The cover will ruin the day he goes out of yeah! Miles Edgeworth, who is this fool of a man? Wh why is she glaring at me? Like, I control Sebastian! You are Francisco Von Karma, am I correct? I apologize for my late introduction. I am Justine Courtney. It's like the ultimate showdown. I'm just gonna try to dominate the scene. And the deceased individual is... Attorney Jill Craig, one of the members of the Prosecutorial Investigation Committee. I see, so that's why she had the key card. I take it you're in charge of this case? That's right, and with me in charge, this case is going to oh! That reminds me, I haven't caught your name yet. What? You don't know my name, Miss Von Karma? We, we were at back. Remember? Where are all those cookouts? Pops would push me out of the way. <laughs> and I would fall down a hill sometimes. I would cry. If you just wanted to know my 
my name. You didn't have to. Oh. Just say your name. I will not tolerate any unnecessary remarks. Uh, it's Sebastian the best. I'm the best. And then Francisca. <laughs> and why are you wearing your prosecutor's badge on your lapel? Because Pop says it's cool. Well, it's unfashionable. <laughs> Literally, just Sebastian and Francisca getting into a fight over that. It seems the packing order has been decided. Mr. Sebastian the best. Here, this is from Granny. This is the autopsy report. She looks grody. <laughs> I think you be the best in Mr. Edgeworth. This wasn't a competition to begin with, and you have been losing life. My job is done. May we meet again from another corpse? Okay, let's go home quickly and eat some noodles. I'm feeling too. Take care, everyone. Wait! Wait! I want to eat noodles too. Come, she just chased them off, pushed them off the side. <laughs> the victim's head wound was post mortem. Sebastian. And the candelabra dealt the veil blow. Estimate time of death is late last night. What? What is it, Justine? Well, I do appreciate your enthusiasm. Perhaps you should give your tongue a rest. Please be quiet, Sebastian. You're embarrassing us all. You might pull a muscle. That would be painful indeed. Anyways, it's quite clear now. Kate Baring must be arrested. What? That was the big idea, pal! It's just as he says, detective. The culprit is Miss Kay Faraday. The young lady in bandages is over there, although she's not wearing her usual attire. Are you not... Are you not Miss Kay Faraday? Are you not Miss Kay Faraday? Damn, Zara's don't what the hell is that? And what would you do if she is Kay? If you're going to arrest her? And I will resist that by any means necessary. That I guarantee you. I am now convinced... The doubts surrounding your, your ability as a prosecutor were indeed warranted. It's fine, Mr. Edgeworth. You can go. Don't worry about me. I'll, I'll be fine. What are you saying, Kay? I, you can't just go along with them, pal! But I, I don't remember anything. What if I really did kill that woman and then forgot about it? If that's true. Acknowledgement is the goddess's mercy. Atonement is her will. And being an ass to Mr. Edgeworth is her existence in general. The goddess of law will surely praise you for your prudence. Sebastian and Judge Courtney, if you believe she is the culprit, on what basis do you make your accusations? Unless I'm completely convinced by your explanation, I will not obey your orders. Fine, have it your way! Now sit tight and listen to the perfect reasoning of the best! And then Francisca, no you are not perfect! And then just whips Sebastian and just sends him flying into a wall. Ow! Why was he doing it? I'm the best in the world! No one else can do what I do! Yeah, that's what I was. That's why I was the first to realize that Kay Mary is the culprit. She broke to the meeting room in order to steal something. In other words, she's the one who could have killed Miss Crane. She's the only one. His logic is almost ever so. Harsh words coming from you, detective. The guy who didn't know what logic was two weeks ago. I asked for some basis to your claims, yet your reasoning has told me absolutely nothing. However, we have no evidence to prove she didn't do it either. Don't worry, Kay! I'm sure Miss Edgeworth will pull off a miracle! Y you think my deductions are some kind of miracle work? You better not disappoint me! Understand, Miles Edgeworth? Because if you do... This whip of mine won't say silence! <sighs> this is actually a really good one. Already, I've noticed two contradictions in your testimony. Just savage Edgeworth is savage. My reasoning is flawless! It doesn't get even a single contradiction! Make that four. The number of contradictions has just increased to three. Oh, I get it! This is a part of your plan to mislead me, isn't it? Well, too bad, because the best will not be led astray. Unless it's by something shiny. If you believe Case the Corporate, then I would like to hear the races of your reasoning. Wahaha! <laughs> Just sit back and be in awe of my brilliant deductions! Nothing escapes the watchful eye of the best! Before I had even laid eyes on the crime No! Before I was even aware of this case! Yes! I knew that she was the culprit! I saw her! She was shifty at that prison! I saw that, those dirty looks that elephant was giving her! Yeah! Basis of your reasoning! Yes, ma'am! Uh, uh, well... Hold it. To see 
seal something? Seal what exactly? That, um... What Kate Faraday tried to steal was a file. It, it consisted exact an investigation report regarding Prosecutor Edgeworth. Do you have any evidence to prove she needed something like that? I am not the one who needs to present evidence. Isn't that right, Prosecutor Edgeworth? Um, yes, I uh, suppose that may be true. What? At any rate, Sebastian, please continue your reasoning. Do you have any evidence that- Yeah, sorry. Just wanted to double check. Do you have any evidence to prove that no one else but Kay could have committed the crime? Nope! Sebastian, let me tell you what would be the best thing for you to do. Look into any other possible source of besides K right now. Post haste. The best thing you do? Look into any other possible suspect. Don't you corrupt Sebastian's mind. According to the preliminary reports, there was no trace of anyone else besides her. Even so, isn't it too premature to declare that she's the culprit? Declaring that she isn't so early. Declaring that she isn't isn't. Eh. Declaring that she isn't so early into the investigation is a little premature as well, is it not? And damn it, Zarthwamp. Why do you keep on messing up our lines? If only I had evidence that could prove Kay's innocence. Good grief, there's a limit to how much you can falsely accuse someone. This is coming from me, the guy who did for an entire game. It's fine, Mr. Edgeworth, you don't have to. You're not Kay. The truth will be revealed soon enough. Mr. Edgeworth. Kay couldn't have murdered Miss Crane. If I can prove that, she will be clear of suspicion. Yes, okay. Okay. Oh, sorry, sir. Basically, K would have needed a key card. So, boom, there we go. It's it certainly sounds like you are quite familiar with this room. Yes, Pops throws things at me on a daily basis in here, and he also calls me a little bee every morning. And when we get here, and then every afternoon, he calls he calls me a bee again before we leave. But of course, I have to follow him like five feet behind him to make sure that we're not associated. The best man for the job should know about all the best places. Unfortunately, it seems that you are not the best man for the job. Are you mocking me? That's for you to decide. You didn't even know about this keycard, did you? Of course I know about that! You needed to enter this room! Huh? Was it really needed? This foolish fool simply does not know when to give up! Yeah! Sebastian! Do you really suspect gay? We'll answer that question in the next episode. I really appreciate that you stick around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer. We go back to the next one. If you like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. And with that, I'll see you later. Bye.